Hi everyone, Mr. Neighbor here, and today we're going to talk about something called percent change. Percent change deals with an original amount and what that amount went to or became. It can talk about like how much something was discounted, um, how something was marked up, but it compares it to the original value that it was. Um, and it's just a way to kind of look at things in, from a different perspective. So what percent change is, is you take the amount of change divided by the original. It's essentially the same thing that we've always been doing, the part out of the whole. The part in this case is how much something has changed by. That's going to give us out give us out the part out of 100, which is the percent. We're just calling it percent change because the change is the thing that we're putting into the part. Okay? So we're still looking for a percent. We always do the part divided by the whole for a percent. Always. Okay? So if we look at example number one, we will see that we have $5.10, and it becomes $10.20. So let's just keep up this formula on the screen. Remember, percents are always the part out of the whole. But if we're looking for the percent change, we're looking for the change out of the whole. So what we want to do is we want to find how much did these change? Well, they changed by $5.10. If you subtract $5.10 from $10.20, you will get out $5.10. Okay. So to find the percent change, we will take $5.10 divided by the original amount. So if we started with this, that is our original. When we divide those, we get out the number one. But that's the number one. We want to change it to a percent. So the percent that that equals is 100%. And we also have a label that goes with percent change. Did it increase or did it decrease? It went from $5.10 to $10.20. This was an increase. So this was a 100% increase. So I'm going to write the word increase here too. Increase. So that is our final answer. Scroll down and try another one. We have $9 to $4.50. So let's subtract them. I'm going to take the bigger minus the smaller, just because I like to work with positive numbers, and I will get out $4.50. So the formula is always the part out of the whole. $4.50 is the part, the change. The whole was $9, the original. When I divide those, I will get out the number 0.5. 5 tenths or 50 hundredths. This is 50%. So did I increase or decrease? I went from 9 to 450. That would be a decrease. I went down. So this was a 50% decrease. Okay. Let's keep on going. $10 to $9. If I subtract 10 um, and 9, I will get out 1. So my change is $1. The original was 10. And that equals 0 0.1. Convert it to a percent from a number. That would be 10%. We went down. So it's a decrease. All right. Here we're going from 10 to 11. That change is still a dollar. The original is 10 still. Notice this problem is looking exactly the same so far. I get out the same numerical answer. It becomes the same percent but I am going down, or sorry, I am going up I'm to get to 11. So this is a 10% increase. So I get out the same answers, different labels though, hence why the label is important. 
we don't have to just work with money. We can talk about other things too. We can talk about uh, football. We can talk about how many yards they lost or gained. So this is an example, 10 to 18. That was an eight yard difference. Started with 10 yards. So eight divided by 10 would be eight tenths. 80% and we increased. So we can think about this as we were 10 yards from the goal or end line, touch line. Now we're 18 yards. So we increased our distance from the touch line by 80%. We increased our distance from the touch line by 80%. That's what that could mean. Uh, we can talk about our weight. So um, weight is a force. It's determined by how much gravity an object possesses. The Earth has more gravity than the moon because the Earth is larger. Essentially, it warps space-time more. So if you weigh 160 pounds on Earth, you will weigh 26 pounds on the moon. And let's see what your weight changed by as a percent. So I'm going to subtract 26 from 160. Um, I'm going to think about this as 160 div minus 30, which would give me out 130, but I have to take away four more than that. So it would be 100 and, or I don't have to take away four, so I'm going to add four to it. So it's 134. So that's my change, 134 pounds divided by my original, and I was 60 pounds. And when I divide those, I will get out the answer of, ooh, it's going to be a big one, 0 0.8375. Okay. So that will convert from a number to be a percent of 83.75%. And I went down, so that would be a decrease. Okay. Gas is another one we can think about. It's a money example again. Last week, gas was $2.05. This week, it's $2.10. What was the change? So 205 to 210 is a five cent change. The original was last week. So 2.05 is our original. When we divide those two, we will get out the number, well, approximately the number 0 0.0244. Change that number to be a percent. It's going to be 2.44 percent. It went from 205 to 210, which would be an increase. Percent change is a relative thing. It relates to the original. If the original changes, then so does the percent change. If I thought the original was 210, it would change this answer. It would make it a smaller percent. But I would also be talking about something different. I'd be talking about a decrease instead of an increase. If we look up here at a few of the ones we've done, here we get out the same answer, 10%, 10%. They're both a $1 change, but the original never changed. It was 10 for both these examples. So if the original doesn't change, you're going to have the same percent. But a lot of times we think about it one way, from $10 to 9 and then we think about it another way, from $9 to 10 That would change this to be a 9 That would change this to be a different percent and a different label. So just keep in mind, it's all relative. Percent change is relative. It's relative to whatever you choose the original amount to be or whatever the problem wants the original amount to be.